Hey, how's it going everyone? Mick here from All About Tech. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about working from home and I want to talk about your lighting setups. Um, it is a part of the desk setup that I feel gets ignored probably the most. Um, people have all their fancy monitors, their fancy uh, keyboards and mice uh, and all their fancy systems but lighting is very much something that tends to get ignored. Um, I'm in a dark room because my pa the, the paint on my walls is really dark, so it, can't, it kind of absorbs the light. Um, but the only lighting I have in here is my main uh, bulb for the room and my video light that I use for making videos and being on um, uh, Teams calls. Um, so my lighting situation is probably um, a bit neglected as well. So when BenQ reached out and offered to uh, send me a screen bar monitor light to do a review on, I was actually really interested because it's something that I personally can make use of. Um, and there's four specific things I want to test out on this uh, on this uh, screen bar. Um, BenQ have been they were really the first ones to do a screen bar. This one's actually been on sale since 2017. Um, and I think the reason why they're, they're now sending more units out for review and stuff is because they themselves understand that a lot of people are working from home and a lot of people may be ignoring their lighting setups. So there's uh, a few clever features about this uh, screen bar that I want to kind of uh, give a test. Uh, one of them is that patented clamp design. They use a counterweight system um, so that it can be uh, fitted on top of many different style of monitors, curved monitors, straight monitors, thick monitors. Um, I think it's rated to, to fit up to three centimeters of thickness at the top of the monitor. So we'll give that a test. Um, I wanna see if it's truly a set and forget auto dimming system um, they do have uh, intelligent auto dimming but it will be interesting to see if it is truly a one touch set and forget never have to worry about it again obviously I have an ambient light sensor at the top so it will look at what the ambient lighting is of the room uh, and, and and adjust the uh, the brightness and the colored temperature there um, and then it also has manual brightness adjustment 15 levels of brightness adjustment there um, and different levels of color temperature as well. Um, I want to look at the uh, the lighting pattern. Um, obviously, it shines down past the monitor, uh, and they're claiming to use an a, a um, an asymmetric lighting pattern, so it shines down at the desk but slightly away from the monitor, so that you don't get any monitor glare. I want to give that a little test out, um, and then I want to use it for a few days to see if I personally can feel a difference in using the screen bar as opposed to without the screen bar. So we're going to get it unboxed. We're going to get it set up. Um, I'm also going to set it up for a day on my partner's uh, system and uh, get her feedback as well. So we'll uh, we'll take it from there and I'll see you guys in a few days. Right, so conclusion time. I've had the screen bar set up for a few days now and I also set it up on my partner's desk just to see how she got on, on with it as well. This is what I got out of the uh, of the screen bar. So first of all, build quality. It uses premium materials. It feels solid. It's solidly placed on the monitor, uh, USB-C. Um, so that is build quality. There's nothing really much to say about it. At this price point though, you do expect it to be of good quality and I can confirm that it is really good quality. Moving into the, the clamp. I wanna talk about the clamp next because I think this is a really, a really positive part of the screen bar by BenQ. Um, and what differentiates them. And that is because the clamp will work on almost any monitor. It is a really versatile clamp. Um, the counterweight on the bottom part of the uh, clamp is, is, is borderline perfect. Um, setting it up on my curved display, so obviously it comes out at the back. Um, no issue setting it up. It is solidly in place. It doesn't move about uh, even if I knock the desk or anything or if I knock the monitor. It doesn't move about. Um, and again, moving it onto my partner's um, straight monitor. Um, again, no issues. It just does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, there's a good weight to it. It feels good. Um, and and yeah, there's there's zero issues with the, uh, with the clamp itself. The, the screen bar slots into it nicely and then it stays in place. It doesn't wobble about. Um, in the little clip which is uh, which is also good to see. So now let's talk about um, the actual experience with 
the uh, the screen bar for the day-to-day -day use so I've pretty much had it set to auto dim in the entire time if you're in a room um, that's under 50 lux ambient lighting um, if the sensor senses that um, it will change the uh, the illuminance to 300 lux so that it's not overly bright compared to the rest of your surrounding um, which I think is a nice feature if you if you work in quite a dark environment, which again it's not really recommended. Um, but all other scenarios, it will it will set it to uh, to 500 lux to replicate what a, what a good office lighting um, should be. Illuminates the desk really well. Um, again, like I said, have it on auto dimming, so the brightness doesn't really change for me, and the color temperature doesn't really change for me. It doesn't kind of fluctuate or anything like that. It pretty much stays a constant the entire time and if you want to change it manually you can um, but again i've just not felt the need to the whole purpose of this is to prevent eye strain um and you may not notice a difference if you don't suffer from eye strain um straight away and um, what i will say is that say for example my monitor uh my central monitor is my main display it's where i do the majority of my reading and stuff um but say for like this video uh, my camera is directly above my left monitor and I've got my notes that I've written down on a document directly underneath me um, and what I will say is that reading text especially large amounts of text I'd say it's more comfortable with the screen bar than without it's not a huge difference but again in those scenarios where you're sat down at a desk for five six hours a day seven hours eight hours a day you may notice more and more discomfort without the screen bar as opposed to using it which moves on to um a, 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 another positive part of it which is the fact that it illuminates your desk and um, it illuminates my desk really well which actually for me for my purpose is actually really useful um, and it's even more useful for my partner that was the main um, benefit that she actually took out of it was that she does a lot of writing and reading um, um, straight onto on, onto paper so having the desk lit up like that is actually really really positive for her i don't do a lot of writing and stuff on my desk but for me if i want to unbox a product i have a light that's shining down straight on that product now it's it's, it's actually turned out to be a very useful feature for me that i didn't think would be all that all that useful to be honest one thing i will say about the uh, the light shining downwards obviously they use an asymmetrical um lighting pattern so that it doesn't shine directly down onto the monitor it avoids the monitor by shining slightly away um, obviously there's a bit of adjustment you can do as well but what i will say is because i've got a curved monitor the very edges of the screen bar actually um, you can see the light shining right on the top of the frame of the monitor it's not distracting or anything like that but just 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 seeing it there um maybe it would be worth giving that little bit more um rotation rotational uh flexibility to to prevent that with curved monitors i think it's going to be quite a hard thing to solve for curved monitors because curved monitors in their nature will come inwards towards where those leds are and it depends on the size of your monitor and what rated curve that monitor has as well um the curve on these monitors aren't very curved so i imagine if you've got more of much tighter curve and i know some of the samsung monitors have some of the tighter curves um it may prove to be a bit more of a problem so overall then would i recommend the benq screen bar monitor light i think i definitely would um it's a bit more expensive than other brands um out there but you're getting excellent build quality USB-C. you're getting a very very good clamp which you know isn't going to break uh, over time um, it is going to fit on the majority of monitors out there um, and hold uh, the screen bar stable as well um, the auto dimming feature is fantastic you basically just need to set it and forget it it's very good at adjusting the light accordingly if you're in a, if you're in a room where you have sufficient lighting then this isn't really going to do much for you um, but if you're in a dark room like myself i've got dark walls painted here um, so my lighting isn't really ideal for um for for working here five six seven hours a day then i think it's definitely worth it so i've been mick from all about tech i hope you found this video useful again i want to say thanks to benq for sending this screen bar uh, out for review they've not paid me or anything like that this isn't a sponsored uh, video um 
and and all these opinions are my own um so again no 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 product is perfect they've got those couple things that i think that they could do with improving but overall i would definitely recommend the screen bar so like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys out in the next one peace